Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. The online application period for Kyungi Province's disaster-related basic income began on April 9th. The received payment can be used as soon as the applicant receives a text message confirming approval. GTV examined some of the establishments at which these funds can be used. These establishments include businesses with annual sales of less than 1 billion Korean won that are located within the same city or county as the recipient's registered address. Department stores, large supermarkets, entertainment and speculative businesses, and franchise shops are excluded. This means that disaster-related basic income can be used at more than half a million establishments of more than 270 business types that accept regular IC credit cards. These include general seated restaurants, supermarkets, convenience stores, and medical and health businesses such as hospitals, pharmacies, and health food shops, as well as culture, leisure, and tourism businesses such as fitness clubs, sports shops, cinemas, and lodgings. Also included are private educational institutes, bookshops and stationery shops, stores that sell goods such as shoes and bags, beauty salons, optical shops, and other stores that sell items such as furniture, electric home appliances, lighting fixtures, and tiles. Other businesses include those that deal with household goods such as bedding and utensils, as well as laundries, gas stations, car washes, used car dealers, and service businesses such as realtors. In general, disaster-related basic income can be used at most business establishments that are related to daily life. On April 17th, Kyungi Province held a public hearing to gather resident opinions on the establishment of the Kyungi Transportation Corporation as pursued by the province. This hearing was held in both online and offline modes to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The objective of this pursuit is to serve public interest and improve the efficiency of public transportation systems so as to meet increasing demand. Kyungi Province organized this public hearing to gather resident opinions so as to successfully establish and operate this provincial corporation. So as to prevent the spread of COVID-19, this public hearing was held with a minimum number of on-site participants while residents presented opinions in real time via an online chat room. Through this online chat room, more than 250 residents participated and offered opinions on diverse matters such as route management using data analysis and the elimination of transportation blind spots. During the hearing, specialists presented Kyungi Transportation Corporation establishment plans with discussion and question and answer sessions following thereafter. <laughs> Incorporating the opinions gathered during the public hearing, Kyungi Province plans to establish the corporation this year after completing all necessary procedures. On April 17th, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung visited Gunsan City to benchmark its public delivery app. Governor Lee recently signed an agreement with the city for the development of the province's delivery app so as to prevent monopolization by private enterprises. During his visit, Governor Lee viewed the operation of Gunsan City's public delivery app, Master of Delivery, firsthand. The Master of Delivery app was launched this past March with its entire service operation consigned to a private enterprise, with Gunsan City providing administrative support. Accompanied by the Gunsan City Mayor, Governor Lee visited the operating enterprise to directly examine operational aspects of the app. He also visited client business sites to discuss related commercial issues and the effects of app service utilization. 
During his visit, Governor Lee expressed his determination to successfully create a local currency-based public app that will become a model for digital social overhead capital. Digital infra라고 봐야 된다. 이게 SOC로 접근하는 게 맞다. Governor Lee also suggested the integration of public delivery apps among autonomous bodies to reduce operation costs. 장기적으로 봐서는 지방 정부 간 네트워크를 통해서 통합 운영을 서버 운영이나 이런 것들 통합해야 비용을 줄일 테니까. 서로 호환돼야 예를 들면 서울 사람이 군산 와서 놀다 놀면서 군산 글쓸수 있게. 그래서 그런 것도 예를 들면 GPS 기반으로 해당 지역으로 가면 자동으로 그쪽으로 전환되게. Governor Lee offered assurances of success, asserting that the province is well poised for the development of a public app that provides residents with convenience and benefits through local currency incentives, while enabling small businesses to save money, workers to enjoy improved employment conditions, and the nation to secure digital social overhead capital. Kyungi Province recently launched a special loan program for individuals with low credit ratings as a means to help provincial recovery from the COVID-19 induced economic crisis. This program offers unconditional personal loans, known as ultra-low credit loans, of up to 500,000 Korean won. All Kyungi residents over 19 years of age with credit ratings below 7 are eligible for a loan of up to 500,000 Korean won for up to 5 years at an annual interest rate of 1% without requirement for approval. Applications for this loan are being received at local administration and welfare centers instead of banks. This loan program, the first of its kind in Korea, is geared for individuals who face difficulties during the COVID-19 crisis, but who are unable to secure bank loans due to very low credit ratings. Loan amounts can be increased up to 3 million Korean won on the condition of screening. However, Loans for 3 million Korean won were exhausted within a few days at some administration and welfare centers. On April 16th, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung visited an application site and conversed with the concerned officials as well as program related organization representatives. 사각지대를 좀 없애고 정말로 소액의 그돈 때문에 시간적 선택을 하거나 이런 사람들이 없도록 하고 특히 아주 소액 때문에 불법 대부업체에 힘들어지는 피해자들이 많이 생겨서 그 부분을 좀 우리가 커버할 수 있으면 좋겠다는 생각이 듭니다. He asked related officials to minimize application examination processes and to help those who really need loans. Referring to the ultra-low credit loan as being between finance and welfare, Governor Lee asked those concerned to improve the program on an ongoing basis, expressing his intent to continue the program. The coverage of the current program amounts to 50 billion Korean won. The first application period ended last week. The second application period will begin on April 27th. Applications may be submitted online via the welfare platform or in person at local administration and welfare offices. On April 20th, Kyungi Province began receiving offline applications for disaster-related basic income payments through district administration and welfare offices and NH Bank branches. Payment is made on-site with prepaid cards. For online applications, the related Kyungi website opened on April 9th. At this administration and welfare office in Wewang City, officials are busy processing applications for disaster-related basic income payments. A large number of applicants are waiting to be called. At another location, applicants had already formed a long line before the office opened. 젊은 사람들은 인터넷이나 뭐런 그 저기 익숙해서 잘하는데 저는 좀 고기 좀 지져가지고 이제 이것저것 생각을 하다가 선불 카드가 편리할 것 같은 생각이 들어가지고 기다리다 오늘 나오게 됐습니다. 아주 쉽게 끝나서 좀 편하게 생각을 했습니다. 
While the online application website open for payment by local currency or toward a credit card balance, in-person application desks opened to serve those for whom online services are inconvenient. Users of the direct application method are provided with a prepaid card that is usable after receiving a text message notice of activation within two or three days. 그리고 이 선불 카드도 이렇게 1년 번호가 부여가 됩니다. 때문에 이를 가지고 현금화하는 이른바 현금 깡을 할 경우에는 모두 추적이 됩니다. The first week is designated for those who have more than four household members. The second week is designated for those who have three household members, and so on. The day of the week for application is designated based on one's year of birth. On the first day alone, a total of approximately 430,000 applications were received. Including those made online, nearly half of all Gyeonggi residents have submitted applications. These events, in which Gyeonggi Province encourages residents to participate, include a good restaurant patronage event and gift provision to those who share disaster-related basic income usage stories on Gyeonggi's social networking services. Through wise consumption using disaster-related basic income, the collective efforts of Gyeonggi residents will be remembered as a model for overcoming the economic difficulties caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. On April 21st, the 343rd Extraordinary Session of the Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly opened. This nine-day session will operate at a reduced scale so as to maintain social distancing during the COVID-19 crisis. In accordance with this scaled-down approach, this extraordinary session, which will end on April 29th, will not include inquiries on provincial administration matters, which were originally scheduled to run for two days. For the same purpose, the regular five-minute speeches by Assembly members will be replaced with document presentations. 경기도 의회는 코로나 19로 힘들어진 소상공인과 도민들을 위해 전 도민에게 재난 기본 소득을 전국 최초로 지급하였고 재난 위기 극복을 위해 경기도 의회와 이재명 도지사 그리고 도내 31개 시군이 일심 동체가 되어 원팀으로 지원에 앞장서고 있습니다. The duration of the general meeting will be reduced through the use of an electronic conference system for draft presentations and report reviews. 도민의 대의 기관인 경기도의회가 중심이 되어서 담대하고 세심하게 정책을 마련하고 신속하고 절박하게 도민의 삶에 스며들도록 함께 힘써 주시기를 부탁드리는 바입니다. During this extraordinary session, more than 100 items will be reviewed. These items include new ordinances and ordinance amendments pertaining to disaster-related basic income payments to immigrant spouses and permanent residents, support for memorial projects for Kyungi residents who were forcefully mobilized during the Japanese occupation, and the expansion of subjects and scale of support for civilian victims of the Korean War. The second general meeting is slated for April 29th for special committee reviews. Recently, Gyeonggi Province began providing all childcare facilities in the province with COVID-19 items, including masks, sanitizers, and thermometers. Today, this childcare center received a visit from a Suwon city official who came to deliver masks. The city is supplying two masks to each child and teacher in childcare centers in the city. 간혹 마스크를 안 하고 오는 아이들이 있거든요. 그럴 때 이제 원에 보관해 놨다가 비축해 놨다가 아이들 또 이렇게 마스크를 해줄수 있어서 좋고 부모님들도 좋아하실 거라 생각을 하고요. 어, 감사하게 잘 쓰도록 하겠습니다. In line with the Korean government's quarantine equipment support program for child care centers, Gyeonggi Province will provide masks to more than 19,000 child care facilities in the province in preparation for emergencies when COVID-19 infections occur within the facilities. In addition to masks, the province will also supply sanitizers, while local governments will supply one thermometer to each facility with less than 50 children and two for those with 50 or more children. 
The sanitizers and thermometers will be used to guard against possible COVID-19 infections. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.